showdown in game one. We expect nothing less here in game two. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz of this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Takes the feed. <laughs> Scores! And a quick hush to the crowd as the road team strikes. Well, when you set the tone, you get on the board first. You take the crowd out of it. You silence the building, James. Gotta love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. The Blues were preaching getting off to a good start after the morning skate, Cheryl. I didn't think they were really gonna follow through this quickly. Well, you can't write up a better script in this one. I mean, just to start the game, you come out on fire and you silence the crowd. That's the way to get started. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Handles the pass. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Moves it to the middle. And he elects not to shoot and then hang on to the puck. Big hit along the board. Wow, he was so aggressive on this one, James. He recognizes that he's got to close and then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit and disrupts the player from the puck. That's a beauty. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. The Canucks have it from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Besser. Broken up at center. Quick pass to Shen. Gains the zone from the right side. And that's poked away by Shen. From the left side, takes the pass. Dumps it into the O-zone. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Shen's taking it from his own end. Pushes it across to Joseph. And that's knocked away. The Canucks have it against the wall. Moves it to Strong. Picked up along the boards by Susie. Looks to get the puck over to Garland. Fires it on net. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Oh, there's a hit. That's a great hit, James. He's got his head down. Unexpected hit there, and his stick goes flying. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Feeds it over. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Bennington. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Slides it across! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a wonderful stop by Bennington. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. We're getting Bob and Lee trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. The Canucks still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They had the opportunities, and he just can't score. St. Louis wins the face-off. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Pyron's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. The Canucks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Great forecheck by Sherwood. Big save. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. <laughs> Miller's won the draw there on the attack. <laughs> Passes it over! Right in the chest! 
And we're going to get a whistle here. Past the halfway mark of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Here we go. Hot man rush here. Works it across to Miller. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Sends the pass over. And that one's turned aside. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. From the place 99 made famous. Quick pass across to Broberg. And now he angles it across to Saad. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop by Demko. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Miller's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there and as a result, he loses it. And he keeps possession. The Canucks take it along the wall. Knocks the puck loose. And that's off a stick. There's a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Bennington's able to put that puck to the corner and really keeps the puck at arm's way. No second shot opportunity. Now that's a great hand up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Oh, they telegraph the pass. He picks it off. And that slides right out to center ice. Steps out behind the net to play the puck. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Quick feed to Folk. Sends it over to Holloway. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. To the front. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Garland. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Susie. Broken up by Pareko. Puck grab by Torpchenko. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Blues gain control of the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Torpchenko. Dishes it off. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, just a textbook hit. Fantastic save! Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Kluger's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. Passes the puck over to Hoaglander. Strong defensive effort. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Vancouver's down, but not out. They've had chances, they just haven't capitalized. on this one up through the first 20 minutes. Bennington's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, I and mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Slides it across to Kairou. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. They gain the zone from the left side. And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. Vancouver's been impressive, putting a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. 
The Blues take possession off the faceoff. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Handles the pass from the right wing. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Joseph. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. The Blues lead it 1 0. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. And he sidesteps the check there. The Canucks carry it along the wall. And he hangs on to the puck. Scores! No, 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 hang on. They're waving it off here just like that. Yeah, no way this is going to count, James. This is definitely goaltender interference. We got a fiery head coach right now on the bench. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a disallowed goal, James. He's able to look at the video review as well, and now he wants an explanation as to why it wasn't called a goal. Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Centering to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Vancouver's got the puck. Puck set over to Garland. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Oh, smart heads are play to put that one away. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Joseph. Can't keep a hold of it. And that's a great read to force the turnover. And now he moves it to Pedersen. On the attack along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Susi. The Canucks grab possession to the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Bushnevich. And he takes the feed. Cuts to the front. Drops the puck away. Here he is on the redirect. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Puts it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. And he takes the feed. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Sends the pass across the ice. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Moves it over to Neighbors. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Miller. Vancouver's looking to break out. Fires it! Great glove save by Bennington. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Vancouver's trailing at the midway mark of this one, but it's not for a lack of scoring chances. All sorts of shots, just no finish. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Here he is on the tip. Snaps it on net. Tremendous stop with the blocker by Bennington. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We got a one nothing game to this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw. Scores! And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Well, there's so much emphasis on winning face-off, James, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. You can see the frustration on the coach behind the bench here. His team didn't come ready to play, and nothing he says or does makes a difference right now. The Blues are enjoying things in twos. Here in period number two, they've gone up by two, Cheryl. There's been a lot of twos, James, and they'd love to get another couple goals to really pad the stats and increase their lead. But right now, it's about habits, not giving their opponent any life in this game. Now a quick pass to Neighbors. Oh, it looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Joshua's got it on the offensive end. Feeds it over. Oh, what a save in front. 
Finnington's all over that shot, makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly, because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the spot. Shuts him down. Takes it along the wall by his neighbors. Back in wow. the and he does tonight. The Blues are having a laugh tonight, up by a bunch now. Well, when it's working for you, it's working for you. And you know that the coach loves this as well, because guess what? The entire bench is going to be utilized. They're all in rhythm. Get them all out there. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a short pass to Garland. Takes a shot, and somehow he hangs on. Big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Here in the back half of this period, St. Louis has added to their lead. They're now up by three. Fax has won the faceoff. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. And he sends it across to Pedersen. Great read in the offense and zone by Buxa. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Slides it over with pace to Strong. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Angles it over to Faxa. And that's intercepted by Garland. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. The Canucks have it now. Susie's got the puck. Takes the pass. Back to the blue line. Locks it down in front. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Canucks trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Made that stop. Moves it quickly over to Saad. The Canucks gain control of it. Here he is, wrists it on there. Huge stop by Demko. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. The Canucks need to start finishing on some of these chances here as we are now late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that caroms off one of his teammates in front. Throws it in. Quick pass to Pareko. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Here we go, on man rush. Slides the cross ice pass. Suter swooping in on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Offside the call. We'll get a face off coming up. Here in the late goings of the period, the Blues have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3 0. The Canucks get a hold of the draw. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Scooped up along the wall by Vujnevich. Pumped away in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save! Demko's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Both sides getting ready for this face-off, and Cheryl can think of a keeper right now who would love nothing more than another minute here. Well, he's extremely fatigued, right, James? So this is a critical juncture of the game. And here on the offensive side of the puck, you want to continue to wear down your opponent because you know that this goaltender is fatigued, he's vulnerable, and you've got to find a way to capitalize on the opportunity. The Blues start with the puck in the road end. St. Louis has it behind the cage. 
The Blues gain the zone. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Neighbors. Demko's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. The Canucks have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Bloomers won it in their own end. Right on the doorstep. Oh, a spectacular oh. save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all fun in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Here he is, shot right inside. Big time stop there. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. We've got a third period just around the corner. chances. You're playing really well. You're opening up lanes. You just can't oh, finish. So oh, I really like the effort here he is in this game, James. You know, they didn't get frustrated, but they have found a way to break through in this game. You gotta figure, you gotta hope that maybe they can shell one back-to-back -back here and get themselves back in this game. Well, they gain the advantage through the neutral zone here, James, and they're able to enter with an odd man rush. And I love that the way the puck carrier just manipulates their opponent to open up scenes. They have the extra ice, they have the extra player, and they finish. The Canucks don't have time on their side, but they're starting to scratch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're going to have to take some offensive chances. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. Puck picked up in the open ice. Directed over for Heroic. Pucks the puck away. The Blues will play it in their own end. Handles the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Vancouver's got the puck. Moves it to Miller. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck across to Miller. Pinned up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Buchnevich. Strong defensive effort. Puck picked up by Besser. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. And that's broken up. Vancouver's got control of it now here in the offensive end. St. Louis has the puck. Shot, and that's denied by Demko. And now he moves it quickly to Pareko. On the doorstep, backhander, and a great save. Moves the puck to Garland. Chance in front, and it's kicked on the line on the play. Whoa! Oh, you don't practice that one in goalies, Justin James. You just have to have fight and compete to get to that puck. He has all of it, he makes the save. Takes off the covering. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Strong's gaining momentum. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Now over to Susie. Quick feed to Myers. Loses his balance on the play. St. Louis is ahead in this game in large part because of their third line. If you want a complete game, you need production from your third line. They've done a great job tonight and a reason why they're in the lead. Miller's playing with such confidence right now and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot, and that's stopped by Bennington. Battle along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Sundquist. Slides the puck over. There's a blocker stop by Tempo. And it's a quick pass to Bluger. And the puck departs the zone. The Blues have it now. Here's a short pass to Sundquist. Takes 
a shot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Demko. The Canucks cross the line and gain the zone. He got all of that hit. And that's turned aside by Bennington. Picked up along the boards by Kapanen. Takes the feed from the left side. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. The Canucks have it from their own end. Who's the puck. Steps into all of that. Sherwood's going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. Receives the pass. They've got numbers here. Shot! Oh, what a blocker stop by Demko. Puck scooped up by Thomas. Wicked stop by the goaltender. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. The goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Past the midway mark in this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Taken by Pareko. Up and off the wing. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Quick pass to Hurori. Slides the puck across to Besser. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Gains the zone along the right wall. Into the corner of the attacking area. A chance! From off the wall and onto a stick. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Bennington's got it and will hang on for the whistle. He's been so dialed in all game, playing confident control in the crease. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Blues win the draw. Slides it over to Saab. He carries the puck up along the wing. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. The Blues win the draw. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. Breaks it and rips it! Turns him away! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Blues win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Canucks are being called for tripping. Great opportunity here on this power play. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. The Blues win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. We got a whistle penalty coming up. Sometimes you have a conversation with the official just to give them the heads up that you're not happy. So setting the tone, setting an undercurrent because they've been more penalized. Killing units set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five-on-three man advantage. In a five-on-three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. And loses possession after a solid hit. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And he gives it over to Fultz. The Canucks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. St. Louis looks to go on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Vancouver's got it behind the net. 
Back to the point it goes. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. And now it's grabbed by Falk. Moves it to Thomas. Sends it in front. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. And makes the save. Can't get a hold of that pass. Hammers one. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. What pressure here in the offensive end. Now it's picked up by the defense. Vancouver's in on the offensive attack now. Moves it around along the half wall. That knocks him off the puck. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here in the later stages of this period, the Blues have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Great defensive stick work on the play. He scores! The captain leading by example! I love that he's on the attack with this shot. He's got his head up, and he's not just shooting to find a way through to the net. He's shooting to score here, but he recognizes how he's going to get it there, opens the lane. And most importantly, the goaltender can't track the puck because he can't find it. Well, that's a huge goal, and I think that's a smile on the coach's face there, James. Something to smile about finally as they claw themselves back to with one. They want to make sure that they have a high-energy shift here because they've got the momentum. Vancouver's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the Ozone. And now it's over to Strong. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Sends a pass over. And there's a blocker stop by Demko. From the slot. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. St. Louis is looking to close things out late in this third period. They have been the dominant team offensively tonight. Hughes has the puck inside the defensive zone. Horowitz taking it from his own end. Here they are on the attack. Under a minute to go on the third. Good use of the body on the play. And he slides it quickly to Joseph. Shot along the wall. Big time stop. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Now it's a pass to Torchenko. 28 seconds to go. Just 25 seconds to go here. Garland's got it in the offensive zone. The Canucks have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Swats it out of midair. Passes it to Susie. And he takes the dish. And that'll do it for ringside here. Well, after one team jumps out to the early 1-0 lead, there was the counterpunch that we expected tonight to even the series, Cheryl. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit of a snapshot as to what this series is going to look like, James. And, <laughs> yes. you know, you get down one, and you know that you've got to claw your way back in. you got to split, because if you go down two, that's way too much momentum and runway for your opponent. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time. And we'll see you back.